Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe. From the, From the rising, rising of the sun to its setting, your, your name is proclaimed in all the world. The Lord of glory be with you. The Lord bless you. A very big welcome to my team of essential workers who are here this morning and who came early to help prepare. Thank you all for your work. And a big welcome to everyone watching us online or even watching us later on. It's wonderful to know that you're worshipping with us. And together we say our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Because God was merciful, he saved us through the water of rebirth and the renewing power of the Holy Spirit. But through sin we have fallen away from our baptism. Let us return to the Lord and renew our faith in his promises by confessing our sins in penitence. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make your face shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your ways be known on the earth, your saving power among the nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You, Lord, have made known your salvation and reveal your justice in the sight of the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Lord God, heavenly King, peace you bring to us. We worship you, we give you thanks. 
for today. Grateful for the glory revealed to us through God made, le made flesh, let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And please sit for our first reading. First reading taken from the book of Genesis, one, chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness, covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of the peace. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven, ascribe to the glory, to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty water. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The voice of the people is mighty in oppression. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the 
cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young white ox. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The voice of the Lord splits the flash of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees ritual and strips the forest bare. In his temple, all cried glory. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as the king of evermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied altogether, there are about 12 of them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please stand. Alleluia. Alleluia, this is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well, well pleased. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, you O Lord. Lord. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the river Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. May I speak in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Please sit down. It seems strange sometimes to some of us that so soon after we've been thinking of Jesus' baptism, 
Jesus' birth, we're thinking of his baptism. Sorry about that, unexpected. <clears throat> so we're thinking of his baptism, and then we go back to thinking of him being presented in the temple as a child. But this doesn't alter the fact it's a very important time to think. What happened with Jesus? What exactly is the significance of Christian baptism? Now, the John the Baptist was a very humble man. He wore very basic clothing. He didn't live in a smart house and have smart clothes. And he was aware that although he had a message and was sent to baptize people, that Jesus was something quite different, was coming after him. And he described it to himself I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. He, he recognized that Jesus was just totally different. And although John wasn't worthy to untie the thong of Jesus' sandals, and he knew that himself, yet when Jesus came, he allowed himself to be baptized by John. And at that baptism, we have the first symbol of Christian baptism. Because at that baptism, the Holy Spirit, we're told, came down actually in a visible form as a dove. The heavens were torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And the voice from heaven saying, you're my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. So it's interesting, that visual form of the Holy Spirit, which is, doesn't happen very much in the Bible. It, there aren't many examples of the Holy Spirit coming in a visible form. But here, very visible at a specific time. And when we then look on to our epistle reading, which of course comes afterwards... <laughs> It's from the book of Acts. It comes after Jesus' death and resurrection. Then the disciples find out that some people have had John's baptism for repentance. And they say, well, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus, specifically. And when they're baptized in the name of Jesus, they also have, this time, an audible sign of the Holy Spirit because they begin to speak in tongues and prophesy. By prophesy, they mean speaking about Jesus, not specifically telling the future. But they, they showed signs of the Holy Spirit, an, an audible sign, as soon as they were baptized. And, and both of these are sent for us to know that baptism is a sign, Christian baptism is a sign of us receiving the Holy Spirit. And we thought today at the beginning of our service how we don't always live up to our baptism. Although we're baptized and our sins washed away, um, we don't keep a completely clear, a b unblotted copybook, as they say. We don't keep totally clear of sin. And so we have to come before God again and again for a renewal. But I say one thing with this. When... The Bible says, be filled with the Holy Spirit. The words don't specifically mean once. The, the tense of that verb that is used means a continuous thing, like go on being filled with the Holy Spirit. And so that's my prayer for all of us today, that we'll just continually repent whenever we do anything wrong and go on and on being filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please stand for our belief. <clears throat> we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus calls us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Washed clean by the waters of baptism, let us pray that we may live the life to which he has called us. And Abraham is coming to lead us in our intercessions. Lord, we pray for your world, your church, and people of every country and language. We ask that the light you shine into the world may shine on us, our families and friends, and our communities, and into all the areas in our world where people are in darkness and despair. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the Church of England, for Bishop Justin and Stephen, and all our bishops, and especially for Bishop Peter, as acting bishop of Gamesford. We thank you for the appointment of Bishop Gully Francis Dakani to be the next bishop of Gamesford, and I ask you to bless her as she prepares to take up the post of, in the summer. Bless all the clergy and people in our diocese, as many churches have only online services to keep people safe during the rapid spread of the virus. Bless all involved in worship at St. Martin's Church and all who attend and watch our services. May we all worship you and know your presence as Emmanuel, God with us, through these difficult times. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all those affected by coronavirus. We remember the sick, the dying, the bereaved, and those who are living in poverty, those who lost their jobs, businesses, or their income, and all who are lonely or feeling sad. We pray for the NHS, especially all the staff working so hard, and ask that you guide your managers to use facilities so that they find places for all the patients needing care. We ask you to control the spread of the virus, that you guide us all to play our part in controlling the spread of the virus. We thank you for the rule out of vaccination. Grant each of us your strength to come through the remaining days of this pandemic and guide us in the way we can keep well and help others. We lift before you the USA and ask for the harmony, peace and justice human rights, health, and the good of our planet, which only you can give. 
We pray for the people of Lebanon and all countries affected by war disasters. We remember all those in, in countries where freedom is suppressed. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We remember our dear sister Beatrice, who passed away on January the 2nd, and also Liz, Josephine, and Joanna. In the moments of silence, we think of those we miss and remember. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. in glory. We pray for all who mourn. Grant them your peace and your comfort. We remember the sick and elderly in our fellowship. Brother Donald, Beryl and John Vess, Alfreda Gray, Annie Fitzgerald, Doris and Dorothy, and those we have been asked to pray for. Julia's friend, Rosemary in hospital. Jeanette's friend, Claire and Annette, and Annette, and from our 3 p.m. congregation, Bernadetta and Maria, and all with COVID, grant them your strength, comforts, and your healing. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We thank you for all your love to us, your compassion and protection. May we all know your presence, which you reveal to us, and help others come to know you too. Merciful Father, I accept, accept these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our, our Savior, Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Please stand for the peace. We are the body of Christ. In one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. You celebrated your new gift of baptism in signs and wonders at the Jordan, your voice was heard from heaven to awaken faith in the presence among us of your word made flesh. Your spirit was seen as a dove, revealing Jesus as your servant and anointing him with the oil of gladness to preach the good news to the poor. Therefore, as we celebrate the union of earth and heaven, we rejoice to echo the song of the angels in heaven, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of St. Martin of Tours and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread, to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The body of Christ, give me a little life. The blood of Christ, give me a glory.
Lord of all time and eternity, you opened the heavens and revealed yourself as Father in the baptism of Jesus, your beloved Son. By the power of your Spirit, complete the heavenly work of our rebirth through the waters of new creation, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you, our souls and bodies, to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Please remain sitting just for very brief notices. I'd like to apologize for my coughing fit at the beginning of the service. Um, I haven't got any symptoms of COVID. I haven't coughed all week. I have been at home and I haven't been out in the cold. And um, it's obviously set off my allergies. And I hadn't used my allergy medicines this morning. And I've learnt my lesson. I will go back to having them every Sunday morning. My apologies, but that is the reason. Um, and um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's joining us in worship this morning. We'll be continuing with our live streaming of our services on Sunday. And um, on Wednesday, we have a licensing of um, the curate of East Ham, Reverend Marco Lopez, is becoming also licensed as curate here with us as well. So that's a very joyful time. If anyone wants to be linked to that, um, could they let me know? It will be on Zoom and not on live streaming in the usual way. Please stand. May God, who in Christ gives us a spring of water welling up to eternal life, perfect you in the image of his glory and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and to reign with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, In the name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.